In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the dispenser assembly shield on your Whirlpool refrigerator. If you need to buy a new dispenser assembly shield, check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the refrigerator. On the bottom of the display are two locking tabs holding it in place. Insert a flat blade screwdriver into the slots and gently push up and pry it towards you to release. Now, slide the display down, being careful as it's still connected by wires. Next, disconnect these three electrical connectors. The larger two can be removed by depressing the locking tab, while the smaller connector needs to first have the locking key removed. Now, remove the wires and water line from the retainers. Next, remove these three screws with a quarter inch nut driver. Now, disconnect the electrical connector on the right side by depressing the locking tab. Then, pinch these two retaining tabs towards each other to release the ice chute door from the fridge and slide it towards you. Next, remove the drip tray by lifting up on the front and pulling it out. Now, remove these four screws with a quarter inch nut driver. Then, gently pull the dispenser shield away from the refrigerator. On the back side of the actuator are two small tabs locking it in place. Place the shield on a flat surface and press the tabs down and towards the top of the shield to release the actuator. Then, peel back the tape to free the wires and actuator. To remove the trim, gently pry on the tabs with a flat blade screwdriver, start at the top tab, and work your way down alternating between sides. Then, separate the shield from the trim piece. This process may be tricky. When shopping for a new dispenser assembly shield, be sure you're searching with the model number from the tag on your appliance to make sure you get the correct part. To install the trim piece, align the shield to the trim at the bottom, align until the bottom snaps in place, then slowly and carefully work your way up until all the other tabs snap back in place. To install the actuator, make sure the wires are at the bottom of the shield. Insert the wires through the opening.
align the retaining tabs, press until it snaps back in place, and reapply the tape. To install the dispenser shield, run the wires through the opening, align it, and reinstall the four screws. You may find the top two screws very difficult to reinstall. To install the drip tray, align and press in place. To install the ice chute door, insert at an angle, align, snap in place, and reinstall the screws. Then, reconnect the electrical connector and run the wires back through the retainer. Now, reinstall the dispenser end of the water line back into the retainers. To install the display, start by reconnecting the electrical connectors. Align and push until they snap back in place. Remember to reinstall the locking key on the small connector. Now make sure all of the wires are tucked back into the opening. Insert the tabs on the display into the slots. Rotate down and snap back in place. And that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things and want to see more videos like this and these, please consider subscribing.